Hello, welcome to this demonstration of the Room Edit 3D sample application demonstrating a translation tool extension in the View and Data API and using POST and Socket.io to communicate modification data back to a desktop or any other client. Here I am in the Room Edit 3D Node.js web server. I'll start it up like this on the command line. This is running locally now. And go to Google Chrome and refresh this page. That loads this server plus a hard-coded model with a couple of rooms in it. This is a normal view and data API sample. And initially, if I click somewhere, it just displays the normal view and data behavior. If I start the Room Edit 3D extension, then clicking on something changes the behavior and it displays uh, some glyphs which enable me to modify the location and thus edit this JSON uh, 3JS model. If I look at the server, you can see here that it's echoing this information, uh, both the external ID, which I obtained from the viewer element, and the translation offset to the command line. So if I do that again, move it a bit more, you'll see every uh, translation has generated a new translation vector and posted this information via REST from the viewer in the browser to the web server running here on the command line. If I select some other element, this is not limited to any specific type of element. I can move it upwards and you can see that it now has a Z component and a zero Y component. This is approximately zero. There's actually more happening behind the stages. So if I turn on the JavaScript debugger and move to the uh, console, I start up the JavaScript debugging console, load the extension. You can see it's reported here on the command line. If I select an element and move it, then the translation vector and the external ID of the selected element are reported here on the command line. That's all good and fine running it locally, but the really interesting aspect comes if we run it on the, in the cloud. So here is the same application running in the cloud. I'll reload that. Uh, I have the Node.js web server hosted on Heroku. Here again, I can start the room editor, select an element, move it. Just like before, this information is posted from the viewer in the browser to the web server in the cloud running on Heroku. But the next step is that the web server transmits this information via a socket I.O. broadcast to any interested client. So let's move over to a Windows application. I have here the Room Edit 3D app solution with two projects in it. The Room Edit 3D app itself, the main project, is a Revit add-in that we'll look at later. For now, we'll just concentrate on a very simple console application for the socket test. This is the entire source code for the test application. It makes use of the socket.io.client.net library. It sets up the URL to my Room Edit 3D application on Heroku. And then in the main line, it defines some options for the socket connection, initializes this connection, prints a connected string once the connection has started up, and then it listens for the transform event. And every time it receives data for this event, it converts them to a J object and formats that to extract the external ID and the X, Y, and Z offsets, printing that to the console and remaining in a, a loop forever listening for that event. So let's start up this application. You can see that it's connected immediately because the application is already up and running. Let's 
make that window visible and move the viewer so that we can manipulate this element more in real time. So if I now move it, you can see that the transform is transmitted from the viewer via post to the server and from the server via the socket IO event to the desktop client. And all of this happens in actually a very few lines of code. I trust you'll find this as interesting and exciting as I do and look forward to continuing on the Revit add-in.